young fairies grow up. At last, my lifelong goal will soon be in reach. Now, these animals might seem harmless or even useless, but I shall turn them into a mighty army that is mine to command. But to do this, I must have the fairy animal's ultimate power. <laughs> The secret of this power was entrusted to the Digmoles. And that is the last living Digmole. I have to make it talk. Sure thing, Kalshara. I'll bring it to you. Hmm. You do remember the spell? Of course I do. Uh, maybe. I hope. Uh, uh... Fall free! Hey! Oh, Brav, oh, Brafilius. I'd say that you've earned a reward. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you! Huh? If you had brought me the Digmo like I asked you! Oh, oh, wait, wait, I could do it. I remember. Um, flow. Oh, no flow, team. <clears throat> flow, team, agile elevation! Oh, idiot! <laughs> You and I. Come on, let's move. You're late. We never imagined that a dangerous creature with fairy powers would enter the park. I've done my research. That bird doesn't belong to any known species. I couldn't find it anywhere. It doesn't make any sense, Headmistress Farragonda. Why would it abduct the Digmol? I couldn't say, but I fear the worst. All fairy animals play a key role in the balance of the magical universe. Even the smallest of them huh? has a magical power or secret, which could be very dangerous in the wrong hands. There must be something we can do. We should find other Digmols and figure out what their secret power is. Mm, unfortunately, we can't. Digmols are nearly extinct. The one the bird took was the last of its kind. And it's not like we can go back in time to find others. On the contrary, that's precisely what you're going to do. Huh? Huh? 
Welcome to the Hall of Memories. This is the Stone of Memories. It has the unique ability to send you back in time. We could actually go back in time to when more Digmoles lived? Mm-hmm. We'll find some Digmoles and solve this mystery. Right, Winx? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> We're ready, Headmistress Farragonda. I have no doubt that you will succeed, girls. Now. Stand back. of memories. They are your tickets into the past. They are all magically connected to each other, and they all light up, even when only one is activated. But their power is very dangerous. If you change the past in any way, even accidentally, you could alter the present. Huh. You can trust us, Headmistress. Now, off you go. Still at Alfia? Yes, but in the past. That crest proves it. Try not to attract any attention. We need to keep a low profile. It's not like anybody will recognize us. Girls, you're late. <gasps> that voice. No way! It can't be! You're lucky I haven't already shut the gate. Otherwise, <sighs> Headmistress Mavilla would be the one dealing with you. Oh. No! <gasps> Tell me that isn't... Lighten up, <laughs> Griselda. Why are you always so uptight? Hmm. It's really Griselda, all right. Are you coming with us? The exhibition's about to start. Sorry. But the headmistress asked me to monitor the entrance. I cannot leave my post. <sighs> Whatever. The rest of us don't want to miss the fairy animals exhibition. Hmm. Hmm. An exhibition? <gasps> With fairy <gasps> animals? <gasps> that could be exactly what we're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> fairy animals. And it looks like they live here at Alfia. <laughs> An accordifant and a ball rat playing with each other. A flock of colonores! <gasps> I wonder why Farragonda never told us Althea used to be like this. Well, I see why she never mentioned what used to pass for style around here. Of course, Stella can make even retro look good. <laughs> I think we'll blend in now. That's great, Stella. 
Now, let's go see if there are any dig moles living at this Alfia. <laughs> oh. 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 Sorry, oh. sorry, sorry. I'm super late. That girl's animal is a dig mole. And I'm not sure what, but there's something familiar about her. We should go talk to her. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mistress, it's so cool. Wow. Huh? <gasps> Welcome to the annual Fairy Animal Exhibition. As you know, training these animals is an essential part of a fairy magic education. Huh? It is? I hope you have all learned your lessons well. Let the exhibition begin! something?
It's okay, Scarlet. <laughs> 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 My fault. I have to fix this. I know we're not supposed to expose ourselves, but no, it's time to take action. Roxy, fairy of animals. Magic Winks, Blue Mix! Blue, Fairy of the Dragon Flame! She just fainted. <laughs> Dear Beetles, they're dangerous and aggressive. We need to transform. No, huh? they'll attack if we make any sudden movements. Ah. 
That's a real fairy animal tamer. Hmm. Uh, 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 are you all right? Y y yes. Thanks to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Not only did you ruin the exhibition and put the entire school in danger, but you've also lost your fairy animal. Terribly unbecoming for a fairy. I'm sorry, Headmistress Mavilla. Being sorry isn't enough, Farragonda. That's <gasps> our Headmistress huh? Farragonda? Huh? Oh. <laughs> I must thank you all so much for your valiant intervention. Are you from another school? Uh, uh... Yes, from a place where all fairy animals live free in their natural habitat. You don't approve of our methods, my dear? Our program is based on the Tome of Nature. This book contains all there is to know about fairy animals. But... I do hope you will find your visit to Alfia pleasant and educational. <laughs>